Good afternoon, everyone. I am Ahmed Rahman Shoban from University of Alabama, Birmingham. Uh, I am excited to share my journey towards uh, iterative relational algebra on GPU. First, I will give some introduction on data log and iterative relational algebra. Then I will explain how we design transitive closure computation using iterative relational algebra alongside our environment and results. And then I will direct, uh, give some direction towards our future research. So Datalog is a bottom-up logic programming language. It is a declarative language. It has been here since 1970 and become popular in 1980, but again, it falls down. And during 2010, it becomes popular because it is a simple declarative language. It takes an input database, applies some rules, and it generates the output database. The rules are simple, and thus it been used in uh, different fields such as machine learning, data mining, graph mining, detective database. And some classic problems for data logs are transitive closure computation, triangle counting, maximum click finding, uh, frequent item set finding in data sets, and data mining. So as I have mentioned that uh, data log rules are simple. So to compute transitive closure, we can use only these two lines. The first line is the base rule that uh, says that if there is a if there is an edge between uh, node x and y there is a path between node x and y and the second one is recursive rule it says that there is a path from node x to z in a graph if there is an edge from node x to z and if there is a path uh, if there is an edge from uh, node y to z so these two rules or two lines of program can generate the transitive, transitive closure and it works, the recursive rule uh, is divided into a fixed point iteration. That is where it has opportunity to parallelize this extensive, extensive uh, computation. So data log programs first compile down to iterative relational algebra, and it uses uh, the common uh, relational algebra primitives like union projection, rename, join. So let's uh, dive into iterative relational algebra. We already know that uh, the common uh, relational algebra primitives like uh, union, Cartesian product, join, that is from uh, mathematics, linear algebra. And for the most important, one of the most important primitives is the join operation. It is also the most complex one because in a join operation, we cannot predefine the join result size, so we need to uh, we can only know the lower bound and upper bound of a joint result. Let's see a short example of the joint uh, operation. We have a two relation user and order where user ID is common. And to create the joint results, we iterate each of the rows of these two relations and find the common rows. Another important aspect of joint operation is that it can generate duplicate tuples. That is one extensive, uh, complex, and uh, computationally uh, expensive uh, operation. And for that, we can see that uh, on the bottom table, if we apply projection on join results, it definitely will generate uh, duplicate tuples. So that is where we can apply parallelism. Data log program compiles down to iterative relational algebra, and iterative relational algebra can be used in parallel environments, such as uh, there are several modern data log implementations, such as Shufle, which is a thread parallel implementation of data log solver. It uses OpenMP to parallelize the relational algebra primitives. Also, there are some recent works on node parallel data log solvers, such as DPRA, and we target the GPU parallel, GPU parallelism, because GPU has millions of threads which can be used to do the parallel computation part. There's uh, two main categories of uh, parallel join algorithms, sort merge join and hash join. Sort merge join algorithm is, uh, popular, uh, is uh, suitable for small to medium sized data sets, and hash join is suitable for large tables or relations. We find some gaps in the in these uh, data log solvers and implementations. Uh, even they are parallel, they don't 
take into account that the iterative, iterative process can create duplicates and they only focus on optimizing operations on sequential things. So they don't care about how the, uh, the results are sorted and the deduplication part. But in, if, we can, if we generate some duplicate elements in one iteration, think about thousands of iterations. It generates a lot of duplicate tuples and uh, the results get heavier and the computation gets heavier. So we tackle this challenge for iteration, iterated uh, relational algebra algorithms. And we also find that those, these things, uh, duplicate tuples and sorting impact the algorithm performance in parallel joins. And there are also some uh, off-the-shelf libraries for doing iterative relational algebra, such as CUDF from NVIDIA, which is a Python library. Those libraries don't allow the users to mention the uh, underlying low-level configurations, and thus it creates memory overhead. So now I will uh, explain how we compute transitive closure of a relation using uh, parallel iterative relational algebra. So transitive closure is an operation where we find all the paths of a given graph. On the left side, we see the input graph G, and the edges are listed on the table below. And on the right side, we see the transitive closure T of graph G. It has each reachable path from one node to another. And on the center, we see the data log rules. So our target is to parallelize these data log rules into a GPU. So let's see how the iterations goes on uh, iterative relational algebra. So at first, we have the input graph T. And at the first iteration, we get the paths which are one hop distance away from one another. At the second iteration, we get the paths which are two, uh, two hop distance away. And finally, we see that we cannot get any new paths. Thus, uh, the iteration is stopped. So in our implementation, on the core of our implementation, we develop a novel uh, hash table for GPUs. Be on top of that, we uh, apply hash join algorithms. And we also take into account the sorting and deduplication part for iterative relational algebra. And then finally, we compute the uh, transitive closure of a given graph. So let's see how we develop our hash table. We use open addressing based uh, approach using linear probing. So on the left side, we see the CUDA threads that has n blocks. Each block has uh, 512 threads. And every thread is working in parallel. So in the second column, we see the key value pair. pair. They, uh, that is the, our input relation. And on the third column, we see the hash table, which initially is a blank hash table on the GPU memory. And it has some load factors. So if the, uh, the input relation is n size, we multiply it using some load factor. And the hash table is initially blank. And uh, at each iteration, parallelly, the threads are taking the input relation, input elements, and making, applying Marma three hash and place them in the hash table. So as the, these are parallel operations, there could be some uh, uh, some uh, collision, and also they need to synchronize between themselves. So we use atomic compare and swap operation from CUDA library, and at first iteration, we see that there is no collision, and the elements are placed in the hash table as a key value pair. At the second iteration, as we are using grid stride loop, each thread is not wor uh, working on only one input element. They are working on multiple input element at each iteration. So in the second iteration, we see that the uh, first and second thread are working on 46 and 97 elements. But here, suppose we have a collision. They are pointing out to the same position of the hash table. And we uh, resolve this issue using uh, linear probing. We use linear probing because uh, we know that GPU architecture is 1D, basically. So linear probing is a suitable option for GPU. And thus, we place the, all the elements in our hash table. So to perform the hash join, we at first, we create a static hash table of the input relation, and we perform the join we use here with the input relation. As I have already mentioned, that we cannot predefine the output size of a join result. 
Thus, we need a two-pass approach. At first pass, we calculate the joint result, uh, joint size, use, and use some prefix sum algorithm to generate the offset array. And at second pass, we actually insert the joint results into the joint result table. But here, as we can implement the low-level uh, operations in CUDA, we merge the uh, projection with the joint operation. Thus, we uh, optimize our computation. And finally, we handle the duplicate duplicated rows using certain unique technique in thrush from thrush library. Thus, uh, in each iteration, the results are already deduplicated unique pairs. To compute the transitive closure from the previous example, this is a uh, iterative process, and it shows one iteration. We join the static hash table with the reverse selection and gets the new paths or new facts in T new table. And we union this T new with the existing uh, table T. And then we apply deduplication using merge and unique technique that is two sorted array can be merged together to get the unique elements, which is the final, uh, final relation T. This process continues until there is no new paths are found. We used uh, Theta GPU from Argon National Lab. We used single GPU architecture, NVIDIA 800 GPU, to implement our, uh, implement, uh, implement our algorithm. And we used CUDA for, uh, for GPU programming. And we compare our result with Shufle and CUDF. CUDF is a package from uh, NVIDIA, and Shufle is the thread parallel data log, uh, state of the data log solver. And for data sets, we use snap data sets, switch part matrix collection, and road network real data set collection. At first, I like to uh, show the performance of our hash table. Our hash table can insert 400 million keys per second for random synthetic graph. For string graph, we guess this number as big as 4 billion. And we also vary the load factors to get the most memory optimized version. And th this graph shows the one single hash joint performance comparison for our implementation and CUDF from NVIDIA. The X rows shows the data set. S represent synthetic graph, and R represent random graph. Y axis shows the execution time in log scale. Here we can see that we beat uh, CUDF in each, uh, for each type of data sets. We even get 20 times uh, speed up for, random, uh, for synthetic graph. The advantage over this data frame based solution and our solution is, is that we can fuse operations as we implement this in low level programming architecture. And we can also mention the thread block size. We can manage the memory in data frame based implementation. We cannot say which memory, could I have several memory scheme like pinned memory, unified memory model. In CUDA implementation, we can say that, but in data frame, we cannot define that. And we can also optimize our data structure in a CUDA implementation. This graph shows that we compared the different CUDA memory schemes for TC computation. And we find that pin memory is, uh, shows better performance than the unified memory model. But unified memory model can allocate larger graphs than pin memory. This is our final result, which compares our implementation with CUDA implementation and uh, with Shufle and CUDF. Out of uh, 19 data sets, which uh, data sets are uh, directed and undirected graph from uh, several, uh, several popular data set collections, we, out of 19 data sets, we uh, underperformed four for four uh, data sets, we underperformed at one. For one data set, we got out of memory error. And we dig deeper into this, why we are underperforming than Shufle. But most of the time, we uh, outperform Shufle for three times and uh, CUDF around 10 times. Uh, we uh, uh, hypothesis that 
we underperformed then Shufle where we cannot utilize GPU memory much because uh, the communication cost overhead adds the computation overhead. And also, as we have implemented this in a single GPU architecture, sometimes if the one iteration gets larger, then we get uh, out of memory error. Then we uh, break down our implementation in the, for each iteration. And uh, for the beginning iterations, there are much less work. And the, during the middle operations, the joint size gets bigger, and the operations are also getting bigger. So I, I like to summarize our contributions. We uh, introduced a high-performance GPU hash table for iterative relational algebra. We optimized the operations, basically fused the join and projection operation. We overcome the deduplication challenge of the existing literature. And we also provide an efficient GPU memory management system uh, that uses pinned memory and also clear the intermediate memory results. Our limitation is that our implementation is targeting only one GPU. And we, for that, we get memory overflow error for larger graphs. And we are also using open addressing based hash table, which also creates some memory overhead. In future, I, we like to develop a multi-node, multi-GPU based uh, solution for data log backend. We like to compare other different parallel programming models like heap, SQL, and, uh, like, uh, and also OpenMP parallel. We like to extend the state of the art CPU, multi node CPU based solution for data log like Slog to leverage the GPU based solutions. And this is the GitHub link for our project. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.